Oh, right now it's more like light rain coming down, but there's still plenty of snow on the ground here. Always boost the chance, though, of creating some slick conditions out there. This is some major travel days are coming up. Beautiful snow flocked trees. Yay, winter! It's really fun. It's, it's about time. Drivers stopping along the Snoqualmie Pass to check out the first snow of the season. Heather Murphy from Leavenworth said she's ready for the winter conditions. We've got our snow tires on yesterday to make sure to come over the pass. Even with the snow falling throughout the morning, WashDOT crews kept I-90 mainly clear. With plow vehicles parked nearby and ready to go, the agency says drivers heading to the mountains also need to prepare for everything from accidents to avalanche. Making sure before you head out on the pass that your car is fully packed, you're ready to go for whatever happens. We never know when we're going to have to close the pass. They do a really, really good job on this, uh, on this pass. Pat Walton drives this motor coach through the pass several times a week. He says he's not as worried about snow on the road as people not ready for winter driving. They drive too fast. They just drive too fast for the conditions. WashDOT expects up to 60,000 people to travel the pass come next week with not just the Thanksgiving holiday but the Apple Cup at Wazoo. One driver hopes the roadways at least stay clear when major traffic picks up. They're not that bad. Well, this time anyway, they're not bad at all, I don't think. I haven't hit any slick spots, so I've stayed on the road. WashDOT says that one of the best things you can do is check the road conditions before leaving the house. And even though chains aren't required yet on most passes for most vehicles right now, having these on hand never hurts. Reporting live from the Snoqualmie Pass, Petronia Poonswan, Cairo 7 News.